Welcome back. We're going to look at standard deviation in a little bit more depth here. Uh, what I have is a standard normal curve uh, and a normal, a normal curve. Uh, whenever we're looking at a data set, we, we want to take a closer look at the data and say, does it look like it's a normal data set? Does it have that basic shape of a normal curve? And uh, is it right shifted? Is it left shifted? Because there are things that we'd want to adjust for if any of those cases are or are happening, but a normal curve means that we have the most of the data in the middle and then it gets less and less as we move out to the side. So when a normal uh, curve, now keep in mind that we're not saying normal from the perspective of, oh, it's normal for this or that to happen. We're saying the data is set out in a normal setting, which means it has this shape to it uh, uh, when we were to look at the histogram, right? So if we build the histogram and the histogram has this shape to it, we know that we're dealing with a normal data set and then we can talk about mean in these terms. If it doesn't have a normal shape to it then other things occur uh, that we'll discuss later. But if it is normal, because you know, we, we graph the histogram and it has this basic shape to it here in that histogram, then we know that within one standard deviation of the mean we have 68 percent of the data. Okay, from uh, one standard deviation above, one standard deviation below, 34% in either direction, and that's the, the strength of using standard deviation, is that it uh, allows us to say that uh, one standard deviation means that we're encompassing from the mean, we're encompassing 34% of the data. Two standard deviations means we're doing 34% and an additional 13.5%. So if we're going two standard deviations above and below, what we're actually dealing with is 95% of the data, theoretically, is in this realm here. Okay, so from here to here would be 68% of the data, roughly, uh, in ideal situations, of course, in, in real world settings, this changes a little bit. And then from here to here, we have 95% of the data within two standard deviations of the mean. And when you get to the point of talking about three standard deviations, you're at 99.7% of the actual value. Now, again, this is ideal situations here. So we're at standard three, three standard deviations away. You should be including almost all the data set. So, um, and this is assuming a normal shape to it. So this is what this means when we say uh, it's within one standard deviation of the mean, meaning it's within 68%, 68% of all data that we have is inside this realm. So let's just say that this graph here represents the height of US males. 68% of the, of the, uh, the males in this country are gonna be within one standard deviation of five foot nine. That's the last time I looked, that's what I saw the number was, was five foot nine was the average height for a male in the United States. And one standard deviation is more or less plus or minus one inch or so. So five foot eight to five foot 10. Um, and so when you start digging in on really, really tall men within the United States, someone who is six foot three, you're actually talking about individuals who are way out here. They're actually moving into the realm of being within three standard deviations of the height. This may, I mean, I forget whether it was one or two inches. So let's just say for a second, it's two inches is the standard deviation. Well, if it's two inches and you're talking about in five foot nine or five feet nine inches there being the mean, two standard deviations would take you up to 511. Two standard deviations the other direction would take you down to 5'7". So 68% of the po U.S. population, male population, lies within that. So 5'11", another two inches, uh, would take you up to 6'1". Um, so you're talking about 95% of the po male population is between 6'1 and, uh, what would that be, 5'5". Five, five. Right? And that is most males. Anything above 6'1", and you're talking about an extremely small portion of the population. I don't know if you, how well you can read that. That's 2.5% of the population. So that would be, in this case, this would be 511. And this right here would be, pardon me, this is 511. This is 61. And this would be 63. So only 2.5% of the population, if I remember my numbers correctly, is between 6. 1 and 6, 3. 
So we're not really talking a very big group of people here. The numbers wise, you know, with 350 million people, that's a lot of people. But from a percentage wise, it's a very small percentage of the population. And this is the strength of using standard deviations. And so it's not a bad thing or a good thing. It's just kind of pointing out where the data lies. So we're dealing with uh, a very small percentage there, but it's the same span of numbers, okay, in theory at least. I hope this helps with your understanding of standard deviation and what it means. Uh, please reach out and ask questions. If you need additional videos about this topic or other topics, I'll be happy to post them as I can. Take care.